and welcome to Granddad Reviews. I want to do a really quick video here because I'm getting a few comments on one of my videos regarding the birds in flight using the new XH2S and the bird detect or subject detect. And again, a few comments saying that you've got to be using the zone area to do get the proper lock on. So I just want to show you how the subject detect actually works. When you put it into subject detect, whatever you've picked, like single point or zone or, or wide tracking, is used as a fallback when it can't find the subject. When it's in subject detect, it's looking at the whole sensor to find the subject. So I've just done a quick test here to demonstrate this. I'm sorry, it's just a toy car in my hallway, but I uh, thought I'd just do it quick so you can see what's happening. And you'll be able to see that the camera actually picks up the subject, in this case an automobile, outside of the zone area. And it only uses the zone when it can't detect a subject. So that the zone area is being used as its fallback if it can't detect a subject. So if it loses a subject, you've still got your zone to fall back onto. So that's what I'm going to show. It's a very short video. Hopefully you can see what I'm, I'm trying to say. And if you want to test it out for yourself, please do see what results you get. This is just looking what when you're in subject detect, how the different different focusing settings do not alter effect that subject detect. Subject detect is the whole sensor. Yes you can alter the AFC custom settings for tracking and locking on and the speed of the autofocus that's still available but when you're in subject detect it's using the whole sensor in the camera to find the subject irrespective of what you got it set to. It'll only use that when it can't find the subject. So let's uh, see my quick experiment show you how it works. So I mean just zone focusing, we're not doing subject detect, it's just a zone focusing and you can see the boxes focusing on the objects and that's where the camera's looking, just in that set of boxes, that three by three set of boxes. So now I'm going to go in and we're going to put on the subject detect and I'm going to pick automobile because that's what we're looking at. In. It's still looking at those three by three boxes, but there you go, it can spotted the car even though it's outside of that three by three box because in subject detect it's looking at the whole sensor no matter what you picked. But as soon as it loses the object like there, then it reverts back to your zone focusing, your three by three box in, in this case. But other than that, it's looking out the whole of the sensor. Now it's got the car, but the car's not within the 3x3 three three box. So it's reverted back to the 3x3 three three because there's no vehicle. Come back across and up at the side of the sensor. Not in the 3x3 three three box. But as soon as it loses that subject, in this case the car, it reverts back to the zone focus. So in the subject detect, what it's using is the all of the phase detection points on the sensor to hunt for something that looks like a car. So now I'm going to switch to a smaller car, smaller subject. Again, we're just in zone focus here. We're not in vehicle detect or automobile detect. So it will focus just on there. So let's change it back to automobiles. No automobile, so it's just using the zone. Comes up, spots the automobile, puts a box on it, even though the zone's nowhere near it. It is, as I say, using all the phase detection zones on the whole sensor to look for the automobile in this case. It could be a bird, train, motorbike, whatever you've picked. 
got a bit full there, but now it's got no subject. Now it's found top of the sensor. So the actual three by three box is having no impact on the subject detect finding that subject. It is just a fallback in case it loses it. So whatever you pick, so if you did single point or a wider box, if it loses it, then it will fall back to that. As you can see, it's following out all around the whole of the sensor. And then when it loses it, it shoots back to those zones I've picked. So that's how the subject detect is working, using all the fade detect on the whole sensor and just using what you pick as a fallback if it loses it. So that's my quick look at it. So there you go. As you can see, when the subject's away from the zone area, it's still being selected and being followed. It's only when the camera loses the subject that it then falls back to that zone area for focusing. Hope that clears up a a few things and uh, as I say please try it yourself if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up that helps the channel and if you want to see more videos like this please hit that subscribe button until next time see you later